We've been going through this collection of 14 boxes full of key issues this past couple days. Last video, we went through box number eight. Lots of really awesome stuff. I think today's video, we're going to go through this box. All right, let's dig in. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Not 100% sure what's in here, but I'm assuming it's key issues. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Age Ultra Book 2, this absolutely stunning Black Widow cover. I'm pretty sure it's a ratio variant. I love this cover. This series has a lot of really beautiful covers on the variants. The regular cover's okay, but the variants are gorgeous. Uh, oh, Amazing Fantasy number one, first appearance of Arana. I grabbed like three or four of these back in the day for a buck, just kind of as a spec, and I think that one kind of played out. Uh, oh, and here's copy number two. And yeah, here's copy number three. So that's a good $3 investment. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We have The Eternals, number one. That's a fun book. We have Wolverine, number 66. The first appearance of Old Man Logan. Love that one. That's one of my favorite key issues. Uh, Jonah Hex, number one. That's awesome. I love having Bronze Age, number ones. Uh, Superman, Man of Steel, number 18. I believe this is the first appearance of Doomsday. Uh, X-Men, number 99. Absolutely love the X-Men from the 70s. One of my favorite comics. Ooh, Futurama number one. Okay, this is the book that got me back into comics. <laughs> I think this is the early 2000s. So, like, uh, I was buying from Groo Comics. I was trying to recreate my Groo collection probably in, like, 99, 2000. Uh, but I fell in love with the Futurama show when it came out. And when I saw that they were going to release a comic book, I had to get it. So, this is one comic book I started going back on a monthly basis. Actually, I think it was like a bi-monthly basis, but I started going back to the comic shop to pick up each new release. Absolutely, that's one of my all-time favorite key issues. Absolutely love that one. And I believe that's the original one I bought. Okay, this comic is awesome. We have Journey into Mystery number 88. Very, very low condition. Like, it's just really torn up. When I bought it, this whole bottom here was folded over. So it looked like I thought that amount of the cover was cut off. So I thought it was like just really, really low grade. And so, but it was a dollar. So I was like, all right, I'll get it for a dollar. Uh, and then like a few years later, I was like, wait a second. And I was looking, I realized I had folded, I unfolded it. And it's actually, you know, it presents pretty well for a 0.5. Really awesome early Loki appearance. Uh, G.I. Joe number 21. Um... Trying to figure out which one is my original. I think I have it marked on the bag, but not 100% sure. This might be my original copy that I kept. <laughs> Terrible shape, but that's okay. I love this. This is one of my all-time favorite key issues. Oh, this box is fun. This is, like, not the value box. This is just the awesome nostalgic box. Uh, Thor 339, first appearance of Stormbreaker. Uh, Flashpoint 1, just a really awesome storyline. Good key issue. Uh, the Darkwing Duck San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one, actually, I think all these early 2010 Darkwing Duck variants are actually quite pricey. I was looking on eBay for the issue I had the last video, and I couldn't even find it. So I think it's really rare. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a $100 plus issue. Uh, we have another Virgin variant from Transformers. Not sure of the issue, but I'm assuming this is actually quite valuable too. Because the ones I showed a few videos ago actually had some value. Uh, another New York Comic Con Darkwing Duck exclusive. This 2010. This issue has some value. These are kind of expensive comics. Uh, let's see what we got. We got uh, Thor 337. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Absolutely love that key issue. One of my favorites. This box is turning out to be pretty awesome. Uh, Carnage Mind Bomb number one. It's a nice foil cover. Uh, let's see. Action Comics number one. Everyone's all-time number one grail. Uh, I think this is a mid-80s reprint. It might be the Nestle's reprint. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number 10. The beautiful Jenny Friesen variant cover. This is the first cover I bought of hers that made me fall in love with her artwork. And this is just one for all-time best covers. Gorgeous cover. Uh, Black Panther number one. Ooh, here we go. G.I. Joe number one. G.I. Joe was G.I. Joe and Uncanny X-Men were probably my two favorite comics as a kid. I love this key issue. I'll buy all the ones I like if I see it for five bucks, I'm picking it up. I mean, obviously I'm gonna pick up any comic that's a hundred dollars plus for five bucks, but I'm just saying this is one I celebrate every time I find it. Then we have another copy of number one. So this one is, I think that's the newsstand, and that's the direct. Yeah. I have I think five or six copies of G.I. Joe. I love that issue. Such a great comic. Uh, Amazing Adventures number one. Love this comic too. Such a great comic. Wow, this is my nostalgia box. 
Uh, let's see. Secret Wars number eight. Again, last time you saw, I had like three or four of them. I can't sell this issue, not because it's not sellable. It's because I love it too much to sell it. <laughs> uh, Big Hero 6, number one. Really awesome cover. I think... Uh, is it David Nakayama? Or I feel like he worked on one of these early Big Hero books. I forget, though. Uh, Alpha Flight number 16. I think this is the first cameo Big Hero 6. Not 100% sure on that. I know it was like around there. Uh, Civil War number one. Really awesome looking variant cover. Love that. Uh, Civil War one, the regular cover. I got one, two. That, all that, that's, oh, that's the director. I was going to say, this one feels thicker. So one's a director's cut. And three. Okay, those are awesome. Uh, Avengers 257, the first appearance of Nebula. Love that issue. Such a great key issue. Avengers 59, first appearance of Yellow Jacket. Another great issue. Uh, Thor 339, first appearance of Stormbreaker. Awesome issue. Oh, okay. Transformers number one. Another one of my favorite 1980s key issues. It's an amazing Bills and Cabbage cover. Like, they got such a great artist to start on, like, a cartoon book. Like, imagine they could have just gotten some regular kind of goofy cartoonist, but they got Bills and Cabbage to do this. That is awesome. Love that issue. That's one of my all-time favorite issues. Uh, another copy of the first appearance of Nebula. That's a great issue. Uh, Wolverine number four from the mini series. Love that mini series. Uh, this is a Scrooge McDuck variant. I think this one's probably worth a bit too. That's probably rare. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is an early Virgin variant, like 2004, 2005. This I don't know if they're doing them too crazy yet by then, but that's super cool to have. Love Red Sonia issues. Uh, the Cat number one. I love the cover. Really fun Patsy Walker issue. Uh, long shot number one. I went into it before. This is one of my all-time favorite key issues. Wow, this box is fun. Uh, Marvel Team Up 141. First Black Suit Spider-Man. Uh, oh, I got one stuck in the side here. Let's see what this is. Oh, Fight or Run. I pulled this out of a dollar bin because it looked really interesting. But I think it is like a $50 indie book. Kind of a rare book. It has a bit of a cult following. A Rocket Raccoon number three from the mini series. Rocket Raccoon number four from the miniseries. Oh, Wolverine number one. Awesome. Awesome issue. Uh, Rocket Raccoon number two. Uh, Detective Comics 850. I know this is a key for some reason. I just absolutely love the cover too, though. Cover alone is worth having it, but uh, someone can tell me what the key is on that. I forget off the top of my head. Uh, Civil War number two. This is the variant. It's when Peter Parker reveals who he is. Uh, Superman Man of Steel number 18. First appearance of Doomsday again. Uh, Incredible Hulk 92. Oh, this is the variant. So this is the rarer version. First appearance of Planet Hulk. I bet this one's gone up in value. I haven't looked it up in a while, but that one you just don't see. You see the A variant. You don't see the... I don't know if it's a ratio or what it is, but I almost never see that one. Uh, Suicide Squad number one. Detective 416. I want to say this is the first appearance of Man Bat. You guys can correct me. Uh, New Gods number seven. Is this the first Steppenwolf, I think? I believe someone can correct me on that too if I'm wrong. Uh, Batman 613. Really awesome Harley cover. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 136. The, this is when Harry Osborne becomes the Green Goblin. This is my better condition one. Really nice book. Uh, Hulk number one. First appearance of the Red Hulk. Friday the 13th, uh, I think, yeah, it's a special number one. It's like a cool foil one. I believe this one is actually quite limited, and this one probably has a bit of value. I got that, uh, oh, it's got a certificate. Yeah, 500 copies, so that's like a really rare comic book. Uh, I got this one in an eBay lot where I paid like a dollar a book, so that's a really awesome score if you ask me. That like I said that before, I like looking for obscure rare stuff in lots because then you can buy the lot, you get a lot of other stuff that you can like sell off, trade, or maybe you just want a lot of other stuff for your collection. But basically, the price I paid for the lot probably paid for that book, and then everything else is free. So I like getting a whole free short box of comics when I buy a rare comic. Uh, Iron Man 304, I think that's the first Hulkbuster suit. Uh, Defenders number four, first appearance of Valkyrie, I believe, or like first full appearance, or, or maybe she joins the team. Actually, I think there's one issue before this that's like, her cameo or a different version of the Valkyries. And then there's an issue before that, the Avengers issue, where it's uh, Enchantress like pretending to be Valkyrie. Very cool issue, though. I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Uh, second cameo appearance of Raven, who becomes Mystique. That's super cool. 
Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number four. You'll find these almost in every box. Because these I just pick out of every dollar bin when I find them. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number six. We got uh, number five. I do love that I have all these. And uh, number two, I believe. Okay, super cool. Uh, another Amazing Spider-Man 136. I guess this is my third copy of this. Uh, this one's not in too bad a shape. Maybe like a four. Again, Harry becomes the Green Goblin. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 238. I think this one is missing the tattoos. And it's a little bit lower grade. But, I, you know, I got that one super duper cheap. Uh, Detective 526. This is, um, this gold always gets, like, tacky on this. So, something about this ink just becomes tacky on a lot of them. Cool issue, though. I do love that issue. Okay, I'm gonna move these because it's getting a little crowded. Okay, Avengers number 10. First appearance of Rogue. Absolutely love that issue. Uh, Superman Adventures number five, first appearance of Livewire. This one I got for like 50 cents in a lot of books. Um, Alpha Flight number 17. So this is, I think 16 might be the first cameo of Big Hero 6, and 17 is the first like full appearance. Cool issue to have. Uh, Johnny the Homicide, El Maniac number three. Oh, Omega Man number three, first appearance of Lobo. Good issue. Uh, Avengers 263, first appearance of X Factor. Ooh, okay, we got some old stuff. We haven't been seeing as much of this old stuff, but here's a really awesome Strange Tales 105. This one has a whole punch. Spine is messed up. A few chunks out, but you know what? I got it cheap, and it's amazing. I love that. Another copy of Miss Marvel 17, second appearance of Raven, who becomes Mystique. Uh, Flex Mantello, number two. Just a fun, fun issue. Uh, Peter Parker, number 90. Tied for first black suit Spider-Man. That's actually really, really cool. Um... Ultimate Spider-Man number one is this. Okay, so this issue, when I got it, it was short. Like, if you look here, like I have these lined up. It's a few millimeters short. Do people know if this one was printed short? Because it didn't, like I looked at every picture and it didn't look like any was missing as if it was trimmed. I think they just printed this one short, but it was confusing. So if anyone knows, just let me know. Uh, we have the Walking Dead Weekly. I don't have a first print original Walking Dead. But this is still a fun one to get. And it's got some value to it. It's a really fun book. Uh, Peter Parker's Protective Spider-Man number 90. Again, tied for first Black Suit Spider-Man. Then we have Monstrous number 1. Love that book. That's another fun book. Alright, this is the first Planet Hulk. So this is the regular cover. This is the one you see more often. This one I know has value as well. Ooh, okay, this is one of my favorite uh, key issues too. Star Slayer number two. This is the one I buy often. This is uh, the first full appearance of the Rocketeer. Love that. Love the Rocketeer. A uh, Rocket Raccoon number one. Really fun issue. Carnage is a Wonderful Life number one. Uh, Batman Night Avengers number three. So I looked it up. I believe it's her first appearance in that issue. If I, I could be wrong. You guys can always correct me or you can add information I might have missed. A uh, Marvel 2 and 1 number 2, early Thanos appearance. Love that issue. Uh, Suicide Squad number 1. Really awesome George Perez, Wonder Woman number 1. Love that. Uh, beautiful Mark Brooks, Uncanny X Men number 522. It's a cool Kitty Pride cover. Absolutely love this issue. Uh, I didn't look up the value, but I'm guessing it's pretty high because this is kind of a rare cover, I think. And just a lovely, lovely issue. Suicide Squad number 1. Awesome cover. Uh, X-Men 125, awesome Phoenix cover. Uh, iZombie number one, I talked about this one in the past. I have four or five of them, but it's an awesome Michael Allard key issue. Absolutely love that one. Harley Quinn number one, I love the Amanda Connor run on the Harley Quinn. That's an awesome comic. Uh, Masters of the Universe, the three-part miniseries number one. That's awesome, I love the 80s toy-related comics. Uh, Moon Knight 58, awesome plat cover. These are kind of valuable and kind of rare. Uh, Moon Knight number 57, another Stephen Platt cover. Love that one. It's a Maj cover. Uh, Moon Knight number 56, another beautiful Stephen Platt. I think, yeah, number 55 is the one that's worth the most. That's a really just a classic cover. Moon Knight 55, absolutely love that cover. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog number one. This is, I believe, the first series, the first miniseries. Um, this 90s early appearance of video game characters this is the stuff that's going to have value in the future i like grabbing it when i see it uh flash number 92 first appearance of impulse uh okay this is the double pack harbinger but this one is signed uh who signed it oh jim shooter jim shooter signed that one okay that's cool this one's signed by dave laffham 
So that is super cool. I need to like re-bag and board these into two separate bags and boards and have the certificate on the back so I can look at them better. But that is really neat. Uh, Moon Knight number 50, another beautiful Stephen Platt cover. Love those end of the line Moonlight issues. Uh, Super Mario Brothers number four. Oh, you know what this is? This is this little stack that we're going through now are some of the covers I was looking at for the top 90s video. So I think these are just more of the 90s books I had pulled up. So Super Mario Brothers number four. Again, I love this video game related stuff. Very collectible. And, you know, the next generation is going to be willing to pay more for it, I think. Uh, X-Men Annual 14, first appearance at Gambit. Flex Mentallo number one. Love that issue. Fun key issue. Uh, ooh, some more Batman Beyond stuff. Batman Beyond number... Oh, no, just Batman Beyond the Return of the Joker, the official comic adaptation. Awesome, awesome cover. Uh, Moon Knight number 56. This one's a little bit lower grade, but still awesome, awesome cover. Probably pulled out of a dollar bin. Uh, Batman Adventures number 28. Awesome Harley cover. Justice League Unlimited number 41. Awesome Harley cover. Iron Man 282, First War Machine. Ooh, another copy of this Sonic the Hedgehog number one. At one point, I bought a lot on eBay, and there's like 20 copies of these, but I sold like a good chunk of them. I kind of wish I held on to them. I got $10 a piece, so I was happy because I paid like 50 cents a dollar. Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures number 10, and sometimes you have to sell some duplicates just to keep the ball rolling. Uh, Batman Robin Adventures number 21. Simpsons Comics number one. I think this is like a, a super undervalued key issue. One day that's going to be worth a lot. Uh, Batman Adventures Annual number one. Awesome Harley cover. Early Harley appearance. Uh, X-Men Annual 14. First appearance of Gambit again. Another cool key issue. Uh, Batman Robin Adventures number eight. Harley's right there. So another awesome early Harley appearance. And then uh, Showcase 93 number three. First appearance of the Birds of Play. All right, that box was a ton of fun. I cannot wait to go through the next box. I'll be going through another one of these boxes in a video very soon.